Warning, read and follow all labels in the owner's manual. In this video, you'll learn about maintenance procedures for the Miller Optics Handheld Laser Welder to ensure consistent, high-quality welds. All users must review the owner's manual in its entirety and be fully trained before using the optics system. Warning! Class 4 invisible laser radiation can permanently damage eyes and skin. Everyone present during laser operation must wear both Miller Optics laser welding helmet and laser safety eyewear certified for OD7 or greater at 1070 nanometers. Before performing any maintenance on your system, turn off and remove the key from the optics machine. The most important part of optics maintenance is checking the condition of the protective window on a daily basis and replacing it if contaminated. Contamination on the protective window is the most common reason for quality and consistency issues in the welding process. These procedures should be done in clean conditions, meaning if there is any smoke or fumes in the ambient air, do not open the welding head. It is recommended that you wear rubber gloves to avoid contaminating the window. Rotate the collet to disengage the nozzle assembly and place the torch back in the cradle. Visually inspect the window surface. This is an example of a window that needs to be replaced. First, open the cover and remove the contaminated window. Before you install the new window, use clean, dry air to blow off any loose dust particles. Do not use compressed shop air. Install the new window and secure the cover. To reattach the nozzle assembly, align the red dots and rotate the collet. Now we will go over the weekly inspection of the focus lens on the optics head. These procedures should be done in clean conditions. Disengage the nozzle assembly and visually inspect the focus lens surface. If there is any contamination, please contact our Miller Service Department for spare parts and additional instructions. Next, we will go over the weekly inspection and replacement of the nozzle tips for optics. If there is any minor contamination or metal spatter, you can use a wire brush to clean the nozzle tip. If there is major deformation or buildup on the nozzle tip, it should be replaced. To replace the nozzle tip, Unscrew the old nozzle tip and install the new one. You can use the guide beam as a reference to make sure that the nozzle tip alignment is correct. Now, let's discuss the weekly inspection of the safety interlocks for optics. Prior to turning the optics on or to testing any of the interlock systems, ensure you are wearing the proper PPE. First, the gas interlock. When you press trigger one on the welding head, you should see a solid green light indicating that gas is flowing. Then, for the nozzle contact sensor, once the nozzle tip touches the workpiece surface, the interlock light on the welding head starts blinking, and you also see the interlock lights turning on on the front panel. To test the door interlock, if the door opens, the interlock lights turn off and the gas stops flowing. When the door is closed, the interlock lights turn on and the gas starts flowing. On a monthly basis, check the functionality of the emergency stop button. Pressing the e-stop button shuts down the system. Release the emergency stop to turn on the system again. Now, let's discuss the monthly inspection of the optics wire feeder. Inspect the electronics cable, housing tube, and the wire feeder accessory on the nozzle assembly. Make sure that the wire is sitting in the notch on the nozzle tip. Now, let's discuss the monthly inspection of the cables and hoses on optics. Inspect the fiber cable, the gas hoses, the electronics cable, and the connectors near the torch. In the same way, on the back side of the system, check the cables and connectors for any wear and tear. Inspect the power cable, fiber cable, welding head cables, 
interlock wiring, and the gas hoses for any visible damage. If there is any damage or broken components, contact the Miller Service Department for spare parts. Now we will review the monthly inspection of gas lines for your optics. Make sure that the regulator is working properly and check the gas hoses and fittings for any leaks or mechanical damage. This concludes our video on maintenance procedures for the Optics 2KW handheld laser machine. If you have any questions, refer to our webpage, millerwells.com slash opticsinfo. Please watch our other videos for additional operating instructions and laser welding tips.